me also. Well, anyway, that is his real voice. He definitely sounds like that. Uh, every voice clip is him. He's a great impersonator. But he going is. into game one, we're going to figure out how this works because Vivi has had a bit of a rough time, been showing very well recently, but Dell, I think, has been one of the bracket demons for him. Well, let's see how this progresses. You know, one of the big sort of <laughs> overarching sort of plots with Lucario in general is how do you survive? How do you play around your opponent's kill options? And at the very least, Rob... It's not like Rob blows you up out of nowhere like a Falco would, mm. but at the same time, once he puts you on ledge, it's a different story. Yeah, there's, um, the closer you get to the end of the stage, the more likely it is you're to be hit with some nonsense. <laughs> I'm sorry, that was just scary. No, it just bounced right off, you know? That wouldn't have been that bad if you got hit by it. Certainly wouldn't have been, uh, very dead. Probably would have been very dead. <laughs> Omega dead. I actually do really like that approach on that one. So that Nair is safe on shield, and that uh, reverse aerial rush allows Vivi to respond with a back air if there's a punish opportunity. So a really good uh, approach. On that. Oh boy, look how big that sphere is. Dill was ahead, you know, this entire game, but all of a sudden things are looking pretty dicey for her. And we actually saw there Vivi with the Aura Sphere pop up, but not having the convert. Oh no! Oh, powers <laughs> right through the gyro! I mean, did you expect gyro to stop that thing? Did you see I it? I kind of did. It was did. a train, dude. It was a. It was. <gasps> oh yeah, that's still a catch. There's. I think the only thing that could have saved Vivi in that scenario is a really slick angle around Dill or hitting Dill directly. But even then, that was uh, a rough gamble to make. Yeah, especially considering I think Vivi had already delayed it just a little bit, so... Mm -hmm. Anyway, you know, th that was a really good pickup for Dill. Ooh, but these combos already, low percent Lucario, not something that people oh, normally geez, fear, teacher. but... Oh no! Who was ever going to tech that? God, you could put that on replay like three times and I still wouldn't tech that, <laughs> Jesus! All right, this is actually looking really in Vivi's favor now. Not even that too high on the aura, so still able to get that conversion at low percent. <gasps> Going way up there. Yeah, making it back. The higher the aura is, the greater the recovery, and it is a great recovery distance-wise. Actually getting right under the back here on that one too. And snacking the gyro out of the way in the process. Vivi right now looking pretty dead. Pretty good. No, pretty alive. <laughs> making it. And even at that recovery on stage, kind of tricky for eventually. All right, Dill going to be cleaning up that stock, which is, once again, like when Lucario does not die, just refuses to die. It's probably one of the worst feelings in the world. Because mm -hmm. not only is they, are they living forever, but they also, their power gauge is, you know, at maximum until you figure out how to actually end them. This is a really rough situation because low percent. Vivi's not quite finding the conversion he was finding in the first couple stocks. Dill doing a really go uh, good job to adapt on this one. This yeah. Is, yep, and and that was going to be a job walking the kill. And then still got the chase even on the tech roll. This oh, is rough. The, the use of gyro right now is so good. Just shutting down Vivi's movement. Vivi loves to be going back and forth with the aura sphere, but none of that is Chasing. being allowed. I thought, it was, I thought it was going to be run-up command grab. I felt it in my bones. All right. Scary. Oh. Yep, so that's a difficult place to be. There's a lot of options that Lucario has on that one. Went for the uh, safer one on that to try to call it a jump, but nothing doing. <gasps> and even parrying, that was not enough. And that's going to be it. I missed tech. I don't know. I think at that point, teching wouldn't have saved him. Uh, Correct? I. It's difficult for me to say. I think... Because there was the, the fade back first. Mm -hmm. uh, let's take, let's take a look at that yeah. again. So, Rob, very big, especially when going for the tornado on that one. The That's... double hit, tech chase. Yeah, tech at that percent, I don't think rolling any direction would have gotten you out of that situation. Yeah, because of the specific range that uh, Dill did it at. Could have gone back and covered. If he did tech roll in, maybe he wouldn't have killed... Uh, that's a big maybe. Like, if it was at the back end, it still would have sent out, though. Yeah, that's, but... it's covering this distance, mm -hmm. not including the fact that Rob can move back and forth. Yep. I think it's safe to call that a checkmate scenario. If it's not a checkmate, it's damn close to one. All right. Oh, the counter poke on the forward air with the nair. Interesting. All right. All right. And it's also worth mentioning briefly that 
right now in losers finals zomba is sitting waiting for the winner of this and zomba was the one who knocked dill into losers in the first place so i'd say that she's probably looking for the run back and that's you know a motivating force as you know kind of running away with this game one is lucario and in any instance that you know run away can be cut brutally short but mm -hmm. nonetheless it's lucario nice. does have uh the protagonist plot armor when he needs it I believe it that he was based on Goku. He is voice actor Sean Schemmel. It's the same guy. All right. The chase on that one. Actually looking for the anti-air tornado. I kind of like that as an option because that would have covered the wave bounce aura sphere uh, before that Vivi could have reacted to that. Really good hitbox on the tornado, well, actually. That answers the question we had before. Mm -hmm. In fact, it does not matter where and how you tech. Yeah. Very, very scary place to be. There's just not a, really anything you can do there. All right, Tech Chase. Yep, getting the nair off that one. And see, that's the thing. Dill has been so on point with these Tech Chases. They have been lethal. Uh, if not lethal, they have been punishing. And then you've got Vivi. Not anything uh, poor on his part, but it's like Lucario gets a nair off that. There's yeah. just a lot of situations I that... I don't think he has a jump. Yeah, forced to get back down to the ground like that. It was snatched up and I think the up tilt earlier on and it led to all of this damage, all this pressure that's still continuing to this very day. I like the double wave bounce though, coming in and then going out purely on the B reverses alone. Right. Oh, looking for an up smash, I think, but in the end, Vivi just drifts too far away to still really be able to conceivably land something like that. Catches the gyro, nice. It is in Vivi's court for the moment. And right back out. Oh, got it! Nice. Good nice. stuff. I mean, that is, you know, fantastic option. Great job covering the jump right there. But if Dill were to someday, I don't know, say, jump side B in that particular situation and reflect that aura sphere. So, d granted, that hitbox on that uh, full charge laser is a lot smaller than it would have you believe, but that was still right by that. That would have been killed. Good conversion off that as well. That's a really difficult thing to deal with gyro right behind you. All right, spacing out a little bit this one. Ball is definitely in Dill's court. Please, no. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I was gonna say, you don't, you don't wanna go out like that. That hurts in the soul. No damage on Dill means that without rage, that was not gonna be killing. Mm -hmm. But nonetheless, that's still a lot of damage and Oh, really oh no, that's death. That's, yeah, it's yeah. gone. That's it. That we've seen a lot of that from Dill. We saw that in the mirror with Zomba. Um, it's just having Gyro behind you because if you commit to get Gyro, that's very good because Rob can't summon another Gyro while one's already on the field. But then you give up space. You're committing something unless you're doing a really specific item pickup. Also, I, I think it's worth really looking. Let's look at that clip again, because notice the plan that happened here. Gots this, gets this up smash, um, and then immediately shoots this gyro over to here, and that's that was always what Dill was going to be looking for from that point on. Just moving it back ever so slightly in order to bait landing in between, so that then the down tilt is just you know. Ever so juicy. Yep, very intelligent choice on that one. Going for the space control on the landing. I'm ready for the. <laughs> yeah, like notice the fact that Dill moved away from it to make sure to bait Vivi into going between them. Like, like engineering the pincer formation as the walls close in. 